Hi, welcome to this new installation. I'm going to make a new SSD for the Saturday and the Surfing icons. And I have installed Arch Merge 6.3.2, so beta version, the one that's going to be released 1st February 2018. And I'm going to show you what I do when I have a clean installation. So one of the things I normally do, and I don't, it might be a problem because I'm on a dual screen now, but I'm not gonna click on it, but I'm gonna use mirror display. So if you check this one and apply, it will have just two screens. So now it is mirrored and it's uh, two times the same thing. But so that's the first thing I'll do probably if I install Arch Merge. Next up, what you notice is that this red thing is there. So 35 available updates, Control alt t Let me first um, type in alias. I will do this thing, PKSYUA, which is going to use yaourt and it's going to install and update everything without confirmation and also the AOR. So that's the most uh, command I type in the most or every day, every morning, type it in and that's gonna update our system. So if we scroll back up, we see what's going to happen. I've made some updates as well. So these are the repos from uh, Arch Merge itself and all the rest is coming from Arch Linux. So these are the core repositories, these are the extra repositories and they are installed and there's also the community repository. So that's it. You just wait and sit back till everything is installed. That's what we're used to. Variety kicks in. Nice little wolf here. And um, that might be something I could include in the tutorial. But one moment. Okay, that's been dealt with. And here it is. Everything has been updated. If I see somewhere a Linux update starting to build, then normally I reset everything. So I reboot and I check if the new Linux, let's see if it's in here. Then I will, of course, reboot. Well, that's more, not an of course, but it's a um, way to work. Just be on the safe side, let's say. Don't think there's a new Linux coming in. It was the sys Linux that is installed. Anyway, um, so if you see Linux somewhere, then it's your kernel that's updated. So in that case, I will always shut down and reboot. Okay, so I have updated my system. Oh yeah, we were talking about variety. So whether you like or hate variety, it's all up to you. Hating means deleting. So pseudo pacman minus r variety is going to delete everything. It's minus 3.10 and so on and it's gone if you say no that's a bit too harsh uh, then you go right mouse click preferences and go check because i have set it to download the wallpaper every one minute but it will never be more than 500 megabytes so uh, depending on your bandwidth maybe one minute is a bit too harsh but it's uh, set that way so when you are in live iso you already see some variation every five minutes you see a wallpaper meaning you have, by the time you switch, you have five new wallpapers and that gives some variety because we are, well, we, we know our own wallpapers and, um, well, we like to have some others like this one that's coming from variety. It's not coming from us, Arch Merge. So variety is out of the way. I've updated. And what can you do now? Well, what I will do is, uh, well, not a Bing uh, wallpaper, thank you very much. Um, what I'll do probably is go to Tunar, then make two folders. In my case, of course, everything that's from Arch Merge that you git clone, for instance, when you have Arch Merged, you can put it in there. And I have also my own personal data folder. So I have two things. Now in the data folder, I will probably get the rest of Arch Merge, there is a rest for me, it's uh, certainly there is. So we have github.com, Harry Dubois, slash, and then Arch Merge Nemesis. And Nemesis is what I'm still missing, things that are not 
on the ISO that ne I'll never put on the ISO, like Dropbox, Spotify, Insync, things like that. And I'll go over those and say, look, install me these applications as well. So zero one, that's for all the, uh, that's not working. Why is it not working? Let's open it again. Zero one zero. Whoa. Ah, look at that. Why, how and why did he lose his permission to execute? Done. So unless again, everything is green. And I'll put that on uh, shortly. So we have the fonts for the con keys. When you have a con key, right mouse click, con key Zen. There are some nice con keys out there, but if we don't have these codes, we don't see this, this, this special thing here. And that's a special font. And I just copy paste it over. So now it works. And then 100. Oh, that's something else. Oh, oh, that's why. Oh, yeah, I see why. So this one has to go 100, 200 core software. Not lots of stuff I'm missing, but I'm missing some things. And the things I'm missing is the deconf editor, GNOME screenshot, and the screen fetch. Okay, so a lot of, a lot of stuff. But the thing is, in the 300, I'm missing quite a bit. So 300 is getting me all the rest. What's all the rest? There is also the conkeys from, from Eric itself. So Aureola is my conkey on the GitHub. And some of them I ported already over to Arch Merge, but some not. Dropbox is for me interesting, maybe not for you. G Radio is to have some music. InSync is uh, Google Drive syncing. Radio Tray, again, music radio. And we have about 100 extra icons from Sardi. You know, Sardi has scripts. You can change to any 16 million colors you want. But um, I have made some of them already. So 100 uh, variations. And then Skype for, uh, Skype for Linux. It's just renamed. Uh, had to add stable. Spotify is music. You know that Team Viewer is to take somebody else's computer over. And VirtualBox I went up as well. And afterwards, if you have install everything, make sure that the icons are fixed. So that's his, what he's doing. I need to do this one as well. I saw a message um, about... Uh, what is it again? Let's take a look. <coughs> Quite important. Oh yeah, we can actually go this way much faster. Arch merge. Hello. Fail to start kernel modules, that's normal, that's fixed when you reboot. It's this one I wanted to show you. So there is a uh, microcode issue still around. What you need to do is do this thing and do that thing and then it's fixed. So the only thing you need to remember is Intel U code actually. Let's see if we can do it together. sudo pacman minus s intel something and then you Press, press on tap and you'll see oh, ayat yeah, was Intel you code. Install it again and now we have an alias. So I don't have to look it up. And the alias is update grub. This one. Update grub says the line on the website. That's the same line on the website. So the only thing you do then is update grub and it's going to fix it. So that's the same thing that's in here. It says install everything and do this line. But like you see, I do it out of my head. You have to do this and then I, instead of this line, which I will forget surely, I'll just type a bit grub. And that's basically it for this, this level. Then you can decide if you want to have another um, level, which is the personal folder. If you want to check out um, my personal settings, you can do so. It's not uh, obligatory or anything, but it's a way to save me time. So maybe also interesting for you. So some personal settings, which is not, um, can't see, but it's actually making directories on some of the places. So this one uh, have been created and stuff like that. So some of the, no, not this one, I think, uh, but some of them, uh, 
things have been created. You can check it in here. So if icons exist, if it does not exist, then make it. If it does not exist, then make it as one. So all these folders have been created if they did not exist. If they exist, nothing happens. So 610, it's also interesting for Arch Merged. 610 is all these here. I want to have my bookmarks on every machine I have here around here. I have the same structure. Everything is the same. Whether I moved from one PC to another PC, it's the same. So 620, well, let's just click it and then 620 again. So it's still working very hard to the background. It's a little bit confusing now. So get rid of it. Oh, by the way, also an interesting stuff to show you guys. Gone. So this little button here, you can use it as well or scroll over it and then you see just a bar. Let's make it a little better for now. So we just did 620, 630, personal screenshots. I want mine to be GPG. And then Firefox. Did we start already Firefox? Maybe. I hope not actually. Let's see. Okay. I started already. If you haven't started you get an error and you see that um, you have to start Firefox first that's why it's such such a long line run Firefox first so and then um, everything will work then there will be a Mozilla folder and everything can be copied otherwise there's no folder to copy to some icons I like to fix is the one for the simple screen recorder they keep their old uh, icon and I don't want the old icon I want a new icon and I think we need what is this thing oh yeah okay that's fine I'm not fine I'll check it anyway because this I move copy etc no such file might be that they updated the program if they oh, yeah, yeah, sorry okay got it so you can't run it twice. 8 or 5 is the next one. I'm gonna make it 8, 8 or 10. Or 8, 10, I mean. So do, don't run the, these two scripts, the, this one and that one. Second time, of course, because then it, uh, you get all these errors. That's it. How about this one? That's the longest one. Okay. So we fixed some of the things, like Sublime Text is now with an S under here. It's dark, it's all, all Sardi icons up here, down there. And this one as well, which I can't click on it because... No, it's... Um, yeah, it's that one. Uh, this little icon is the way I like it. And so that's fixed as well. So basically, I just wait now for this installation to stop because now it's installing Spotify, it says to me. Yeah, that's true. So... Um, Need I tell you anything else? Well, I change the wallpapers. I make sure maybe that the plank is on the top. Maybe you like that better. Depending what you want, you can change it in colors as well. Um, and so on. Change the icons, appearance. Go for another arc theme. Go for other icons. Go maybe for bigger fonts, other fonts. And that's basically it's what I do. Um, of course, I will get my data because there's no data here. So it's a clean install. Arch Merge will be filled with lots of GitHubs and the same in data. And then we can start working on Saturday and Surfer icons. All right. So last thing I'll do. I'm not going to do it. But last thing I do, and I'll not record it, that's mirror display. So I have my two screens. All right, cheers.